I'm Peter with ProLifeUnity.com and ProLifeNews.tv, and I'm here with William Owens, Jr. He wrote this book here, The Obama, Why Black America? What is the message you're trying to get out with this book? Well, when you take a look at the values of black America, what they believe in, in terms of the marriage being that between one man and one woman, when you begin to listen to their concerns regarding the economy, regarding the, the entrepreneurial um, edge that black Americans have done well at, mm. you begin to realize as far as the tax issue is concerned, the, um, the issue when it comes to abortions, and the issues when it comes to our religious beliefs and our traditions, most, most black Americans would not accept the, the, the presidency of an Obama administration. It would not work well. Hmm. We're rushing to judgment based upon the color of the skin, the ethnicity, and not the content of the character. Yeah. And Obama's, um, you know, when you take a look at his resume, it doesn't even fill a page up. He hmm. hasn't had a chance to really validate who he is and what he can do with his own senator position. Mm -hmm. you know, so there's a lot of issues there, and we have to transcend race, we have to transcend even culture, and we cannot compromise what we know we stand for and believe as, as, as black Americans. Yeah. And of course, when you talk about putting somebody in the White House, you have to look at the whole picture, not just for a certain ethnic group, you mm -hmm. have to look at the whole country and being in the most in a powerful position that can affect the whole world. Yeah. You know, so you know, this book is designed to just limit it to that particular discussion and it shows just how his presidency would not be good for black America. And that whole idea is why you should have doubts. Mm -hmm. Let's think a little deeper. And with this event here, we're at the Values Voters Summit. Um, you're talking about values. It's an issue that uh, goes across all lines, whether it's party lines, whether right. it's uh, racial lines. The values are something that's important that people should pay attention to. And what you're saying is don't just vote for someone because of either gender exactly, or color. They, or, exactly. Mm. You have to, you have to, you know, Martin Luther King said it perfectly. We have to judge a person by the content of their character and not by the color of their skin. Mm. And so we're rushing to judgment over someone who looks like us. But let's just say he did, let's just say he was um, raised in our neighborhoods, of which he wasn't. Well, let's just say that um, he understands the struggle of black America, because um, I don't believe he does, and that's no indictment, mm -hmm. okay, but he was raised in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You know, he changed his name to Barry. There's some issues there, there's some inconsistencies, and we can't ignore that, but nor do we, we, we don't condemn him for being who he is, right. but I challenge him for making himself to be something that he's not, mm -hmm. okay? And so those, those are the tough questions we have to ask, and we should not just give up our, the power of our vote without giving him the scrutiny that any politician deserves. And on the pro-life side, we know that he supported abortion all the way up, not the only way. until the, the day liberal. of delivery, but also after the day of delivery, Absolutely. where he didn't even support the partial birth abortion ban, he didn't support the Born Alive Infants Act, Absolutely. Protection Act. So he really it was on the to far left as far left far as left go. absolutely not only to that degree but also the fact that 14 percent of america is black america but 40 percent of abortions are done on black america mm. okay so when you look at the numbers and look at the odds mm. how can we ignore that how can any um black leader black pastor not challenge Barack Obama on that point alone mm -hmm. as we would any politician let's not be blindsided by anyone, no matter what color they are. What about Planned Parenthood in this? What do you well, think about Well, it's obvious. This? He's accepted their endorsement, which I consider to be blood money, because they're making their money at the expense of, of, of those that, that are being murdered by law. Mm -hmm. And law cannot justify murder. And you were talking about the statistics. It's overwhelming that Planned Parenthood facilities are in the minority neighborhoods. They obviously target the minorities for what they're trying to do. Yes. Doesn't, doesn't that something, that, again, going back to the values, isn't that something that values voters should really pay attention to? It should, and we have to break free from tradition and fear. Mm -hmm. Tradition holds us captive to things that sometimes don't even make sense. Mm -hmm. And fear paralyzes us from breaking away from people who would otherwise slander us. But it's all right to be slandered for the truth. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, how can people find out more about this? Buy your book? you have a well, website? Well, they, they can go to um, Black arc.org, blackarc.org, mm -hmm. um, or itouchpublishers.com. 
itouchpublishers.com. That's right. Or blackarc.org. For those of you out there who want to read this book and get more involved, it's important to get involved, isn't it? It is. Not just sit it back is. and watch things happen. And don't let no one take your voice and make their voice yours. Great. Have your own voice. Thank <laughs> you.